Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss how to get ready for a date. So, before you even make it to a date, make sure it's actually a date. With all the internet vagaries, the differences between a date or a hookup or whatever else can be quite vague. And so it just helps if you just clarify it's a date. Once that's settled, make plans together. Traditionally, a dinner is what you do, especially in the beginning. However, if you know that the person loves a particular spot or that she has a very peculiar hobby or she always dreamed of doing something, it may be a great idea to suggest just that. It could be something like a hot air balloon ride or maybe she loves amusement parks maybe a movie or just a drink. Alternatively, you could go to an art gallery or a concert. Simply find out how your date ticks, what they like, and try to find something that works for both of you. If your date makes a suggestion to have coffee or get a drink, just follow along, unless of course it makes you hugely uncomfortable, which is probably rarely the case. As you know, outward appearances have a huge impact on how you're perceived, so it's time to put your best foot forward. That means get a haircut. If you just recently got a haircut, simply go in for a trim because it provides you with that polished look that says, I respect myself and others. The day before the date, just reach out to reconfirm that the date is on and do not offer to pick her or him up in case that's your first date. Um, keep that for the second date. Just in line with a haircut, you wanna make sure that your outfit stands out, but that it's you at the same time because you wanna be confident and you wanna be able to focus on your date and not on your clothes and how it fits. Overall, it should represent you, but I think it always pays to go one step above. If you're the kind of guy who usually wears flip-flops with a t-shirt, step up your game, get a polo shirt, maybe a pair of chinos, and maybe a nice pair of casual shoes such as boat shoes. Dress that way, you'll still be yourself, but it just shows that you put some effort into the date and that you're interested in the other person. Of course, you should always adapt your outfit to the date itself and the outward surroundings. If it's hot, wear something more summery. If it's cold, wear something that's appropriate. Personally, I think it's a very bad first impression to look stiff. So if you don't wear suits very often, skip the suit because it will feel very odd because you're just not yourself and it's unnatural, which is unpleasant and your date will notice that. If you usually wear polo shirts, maybe get a step up with a dress shirt. Or if you usually wear dress shirts, get a step up and get a jacket or a blazer. I suggest you skip the bow tie or the necktie because again, some people may consider that to be very stiff. However, if you're an absolute clothes horse and you always wear suits and ties and that's who you are, then of course for your date you should do the same thing, otherwise it looks kind of fake. Definitely pay attention to your shoes because something most dates will take a look at. So I suggest a nice pair of leather shoes with a matching leather belt is perfect. If you're a little more casual, maybe go with driving mocks or boat shoes and you can learn more about those options in our video guides here. If you wear a blazer or a jacket, go with a pocket square. It adds a really polished look. Otherwise, I suggest to go with a nice wristwatch. Definitely skip the gold neck chains and maybe the wristbands because that may just give the wrong impression. Unless you're on a beach or it's a very casual outing, I suggest not to wear shorts. Also skip the flip-flops and sloppy t-shirts or wife beater shirts because they just show that you don't care about your appearance. Chances are the other person does, so it can be really odd if they're all dressed up and you're all dressed down. Unless you're going to a sporting event and you're both huge sport fans and you know it, don't wear jerseys because it looks sloppy. The same is true for stained clothing. Nothing says I'm messy more than wearing stained clothes on your date. I know you may not always do that, but in those situations, make sure to iron your shirts and to polish your shoes. Again, you wanna put your best foot forward. At the morning of your date, it's time to trim your beard if you have one or to get a nice proper shave. You can either do a double edge razor shave or you can go with a straight razor shave at your barber shop. It's up to you. Just make sure you have a great look. Also, make sure to take a shower, brush your teeth, go over your nails, remove any nail dirt, maybe clip and file them, and you can check out how to do that at home in less than 10 minutes in this guide here. Under no circumstances should you forget the deodorant, and if you want, you can also add a little bit of cologne. Make sure you don't overdo it, because that has a negative effect. 
Before you leave the house, it's time to check your wallet. Make sure you have enough cash to maybe tip, pay for the valet, or other things that may occur where you need cash. Definitely bring your ID in case you get carded, and otherwise make sure the credit cards are all valid. Let's say you go to dinner or to any other event and a check arrives, don't let it linger, take the lead and offer to pay and just wait for the reaction of the other person. I'd always do that, even if you know that the date didn't go well and that you don't wanna have a second date, it's the least you can do and it's just part of playing the game. Last but not least, I suggest you always review what you know about the person, maybe go through the messages again, maybe through the profile so you understand what they are and you don't get confused or get things mixed up because that could be quite embarrassing. I also suggest to check out our guide on 53 great questions to get to know someone because it will really have a positive effect on how you're perceived by the other person. Of course, make sure to listen to what they have to say, especially if you ask the questions. Put your phone on silent and don't be late. Because if you're late on a date, it reflects very poorly on you and it shows them that you don't respect them and their time and it's just a very bad start to any date. In this video, I was wearing a made to measure cotton shirt, button down with casual interlining, it's very soft and it's checked blue and white, very simple. I paired it with a stone colored pair of chinos, a chocolate dark brown belt that matched my double monk strap shoes. To add a little dash of color and to tie the shoes and the pants together, I opted for a burgundy and stone colored pair of shadow stripe socks, which really add a little dash of color and personality without being overly flashy. If I wanted to take it a notch up, I'd probably wear a navy blazer or another jacket, maybe with a color, probably a solid because my shirt would be patterned, and then a simple pocket square. I would not wear a boutonniere because that would maybe over the top, and you don't wanna make it all about your outfit, you just want them to see you and have a positive first impression of you without knowing why that's the case. My dark brown shoes are double long straps from Shoe Passion, and we did a review about them here. As you can see, they have silver buckles, I wear both of them buckled and they match the silver buckle of my belt. And my ring is also silver and the carnelian goes well with the red of my socks. That way my outfit is consistent and all tied together. If you enjoyed this video, please sign up to our free email newsletter and videos like this will come right to your inbox. Good luck with your date. <laughs>